students good morning students now it's time for your accounts class and we are on the topic admission of a partner and my yesterday's topic you know that workman compensation and investment fluctuation reserve and now our today's topic is all about capital adjustment but before this see the objectives of admission of a partner the existing partner of a firm may decide to admit a new partner to fulfill one or more of the following objectives see number 1 objective to get additional capital in the partnership number second for availing the special skill of new partner number third to increase the managerial capability of the firm number fourth for developing and expanding the size of existing business and the last one is to reap the benefits of the business connection and reputation of new partner so these all are the objectives why a new partner a new person entered into your business so students here see what are the adjustments required when a new person enter into your business when a new partner is admitted some adjustments are required to made in the books of accounts number 1 calculation of new profit sharing ratio that topic already done accounting treatment of goodwill also done revaluation of assets and liabilities done distribution of accumulated profits reserves done now the today our current topic here is last topic that is adjustment of capital accounts of old partner so our today's topic is all about the adjustment so student our today topic adjustment of capital but before starting the topic see the key terms number 1 key term admission of a partner so here when a new person becomes a partner in the firm it is known as admission of a partner like in this example geeta and babita old partners and old profit sharing ratio 5 ratio 3 and simran new partner with the share 1/4 on admission you know that on admission your partnership firm not comes to an end only partnership did next new profit sharing ratio the ratio in which all partner including the incoming partner share future profits and losses is known as new profit sharing ratio next sacrificing ratio already done our topic this one also how to compute old ratio minus new ratio the ratio in which the old existing partner sacrifice their share in profit in favor of an incoming partner it is called sacrificing ratio now the next is change in profit sharing ratio change in profit sharing ratio means transfer of share of profit by one partner to another partner or to an incoming partner so these all are your key terms now our today's topic is adjustment of the old partner so students see the learning objectives of adjustment of capital number 1 adjustment of old partners capital account on the basis of new partner capital account number 2 calculating the new partners capital on the basis of old partners adjusted capital so what are the objective at the time of admission the partners agrees that the capital should be adjusted so as to proportionate to their profit sharing ratio in such a situation if the capital of new partner is given the same can be used as a base for calculating the new capital of old the partner it simply means that ki when you are going to adjust the old partner's capital on the basis of new or incoming partner the capital does a certain should be compared with their old capitals after all the adjustment related to goodwill reserves revaluation of assets and liability and have been and then the partner whose capital falls short will brings in the necessary amount of to cover the shortage and the partner who has a surplus will withdraw the excess amount of capital now here you are going to find out the deficit or surplus of the old partner's capital so student when you are going to find out the old partner's capital on the basis of new partner so here the first step is calculate the total capital of the firm on the basis of the capital of new partner and the formula here is total capital of new firm is equal to capital of the new partner divided by share of profit of new partner so see with the help of one example 
Suresh and Ramesh are in the partnership sharing profit and losses in the ratio 3 ratio 2. So here two partners Suresh and Ramesh old partner and all profit sharing ratio 3 ratio 2. The capitals of Suresh and Ramesh after adjustments are 80,000 and 60,000 respectively. They admit Hitesh as partner with contribution of 35,000 as a capital for one fifth share of profit. So the new partner here contribution 35,000 and sharing ratio one fifth to be acquired equally from both Suresh and Ramesh. The capital accounts of all partners are to be adjusted on the basis of proportionate of Hitesh capital to his share in the business. Calculate the amount to be paid or brought by the old partners for the purpose. So first step here is total capital of new firm. How to compute here Hitesh your new partner and the capital of Hitesh is 35,000 and share of Hitesh one fifth reciprocal the share multiply 5 and total capital of firm here is 1,35,000. This one is your first step. So student here your second step is determine the new capital of each partner total capital is divided in their new profit sharing ratio proportionate capital then new capitals here 1 lakh new capital according to firm total 1 lakh 75,000 and divide in a new ratio so here new ratio 5 ratio 3 ratio 2 for this see working note first of all their existing share 3 ratio 2. So 3 divided by 5, 2 divided by 5. And share transfer to Hitesh equally. It, it means 1 tenth and 1 tenth. And their new share A minus B means A this one existing minus this one share transfer to Hitesh. So 3 divided by 5 minus 1 divided by 10 here. The new share is 5 divided by 10 and Ramesh 3 divided by 10. And new profit sharing ratio here is 5 ratio 3 ratio 2. So see now here distribute 1 lakh 75,000 in new ratio 5 ratio 3 ratio 2. Suresh 87,500, Ramesh 52,500 and Hitesh 35,000. So your second step is all about to distribute to determine the new capital. Okay on the basis of new profit sharing ratio. And the third step is ascertain present capital of each old partner after giving effect to adjustments such as the goodwill reserves and gain and already in your statement this amount given to you Suresh capital after adjustment 80,000 and Ramesh 60,000 so here you are going to find out the capital on the basis of new profit sharing ratio here third step your adjusted capital of old partners okay students now the fourth step is Find out the surplus capital, deficit capital by comparing the proportionate capital ascertained under step 2 and the present capital ascertained under step 3 of the each partner. So here you are going to compare the capital. Okay, you know that under step 2 you, uh, you find the capital that is on the basis of new profit sharing ratio and step 3rd you know that adjusted capital of old partner so here two situations surplus and deficit surplus situation surplus capital present capital is more than the proportionate capital and deficit present capital is less than the capital so see here students two partners Suresh and Ramesh existing capital 80,000 and 60,000 and new capital 87,500 and Ramesh 52,500. Now compare her students Ramesh existing capital 80,000 but required here 87,500. So here the situation of deficit and here required 52,500 but already Ramesh capital 60,000 so here surplus 7500 surplus and deficit surplus of Ramesh and deficit of Suresh so surplus or deficit of capital of the partners is either transferred to the concerned partner current account like or paid in case of excess and brought in cash or by check in case of deficits so here brought that was uh, that is your case Suresh case and uh, Ramesh case 
case surplus case so here suresh provide the cash 7500 to the business and ramesh the business provide the cash of 7500 to ramesh so see the adjusting entry to adjust the deficit like in this case deficit 7500 of suresh and what is the entry cash bank account or concerned partner current account to concerned partners capital account so here your entry cash account debited 7500 to suresh partners capital account so to adjust the surplus here adjust when you are providing the cash okay here you are receiving debit what comes in cash comes in and here what goes out cash goes out so here your entry is ramesh capital account debited to cash in the absence of any information surplus or deficit of capital is adjusted in cash bank account and not by transferring to the current account so these all are the steps how to compute capital on the basis of new partner capital now it's time for your homework quiz so students solve the practical problems 83 till 87 along with the related illustrations and must watch the youtube links for more better understanding of the topic thank you so much